Gone are the days when we require to invest or spend too much of time in PowerPoint because now with Office 365 you will see extensive use of AI in PowerPoint from just creating a single slide powered with AI to creating the whole presentation and in this video we're going to explore the AI capability of PowerPoint. Hey there everyone my name is Preetam and you are watching Technoholic. In this channel, our mission is to help you in elevating your productivity, especially in case of productivity based softwares. So make sure you subscribe to Technoholic to follow us along. Okay, so now let me quickly jump into computer screen such that I can show you all these capability of generative AI in PowerPoint. Okay, so now we are in our computer screen and let me now quickly open PowerPoint. And there we go. So let's start with a blank presentation so that we can see the magic of AI. So first of all, I would like to start with a one a very old now got even more matured generative AI, which is also known as design ideas. And now they have changed its name and then they made it design suggestion. So design suggestion, um, I would say is very old, but I would say is really very capable tool that help you to quickly give you a different different layout making your presentation look really cool and I believe most of you are already familiar about it and a lot of folks actually ask me this question well I do not see this feature why is it so my software is not updated all these connected feature capability only comes with Microsoft 365 which is subscription based model but do you really need to spend money on it? I would say no, there is a free alternative also available. I won't say it alternative, it is just, I would say, uh, you need to access it through web. So if you use office.com and then open Microsoft Word, you will see this kind of feature available to use. It is more of, you know, when we talk about perpetual, they are offline variant and then Office do not provide connected features with them. Okay, so now again, I am back to screen. So you really can utilize this particular design suggestion to create stunning looking slide in just few click. And even, you know, when we type something here, let's say I am typing earth here. So you will see the proposal from PowerPoint designer will be related to earth. So let me type earth here. And now if I go down, probably I should see the earth related and actually what we did in starting we undo it and let's say uh, when we type a particular topic for example I am typing earth here and then I'm gonna say solar system and then when we click here on design suggestion it's going to present us a very similar background so here you can see how smart this design suggestion is I mean it looks really nice all you need to do is you need to type your topic and then the design suggestion will make sure that it will provide you a similar kind of template so this is now I would say improved than a previous generation design ideas so I would say this is now even more improved than previous generation design ideas okay so now I am going to talk about the real AI or one of the most powerful one which is generative AI, of course. And then as we already know, Microsoft own a very good chunk of open AI. So they kind of integrated it. And I would say this is the best um, that is available in the market as of today. So let's see the capability of generative AI. And again, I'm gonna start with a new slide with Copilot. So let me go on the top and then click on new slide with Copilot. And here I am going to describe my slide. So this slide now will be about, let's say, oceans in planet Earth, okay? So the first one was like Earth overview. Second one, I would like to create ocean in planet Earth. And the good thing here is, let's say you have certain reference document where we have created, for example, notes, and then you want the slide to take inspiration from it. So that is also doable. Um, just need to do is you need to go here and then you need to pick that file. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next here is 
I'm gonna hit enter okay and let's see uh, what new slide it automatically come up with and there we go so here we can see uh, it really makes sense um, it talk about earth was ocean and then you know I gave him a very general topic and then it came up with the following which talk about climate regulation and then again related to ocean ocean play a vital role in regulating earth climate and marine life essential resources and then conservation importance so i would say all these topics are very relevant to what we said and then of course you can further elevate your experience by utilizing the design suggestion so maybe this image makes sense and one good thing i would like to talk with you about this generative ai is not only you're gonna get the new slide but let's say for example you need to immediately speak in front of the team or class it could be anyone then you also do have the script so here we can read it ocean covers over 70 percent of the earth's surface playing a crucial role in climate regulation and then here you can see um it is also very uh, much correlated i mean here you can see these headings are very correlated to this script which is freaking awesome okay so now you know we have utilized the earlier ai and then this newer ai I mean, which really i mean together are doing great job in creating this presentation now not only we can create a new slide but if you hit here on copilot which kind of give you the complete list of options and then here you will see uh, you do have even more capability for example if you would like to create a new presentation and then I'm gonna give you a topic and then you want to give a certain topic for example i'm gonna say solar system and then of course you can provide a reference file and then hit okay so now instead of creating a single file i am going to create the whole presentation so this is like next level like you do not have to do anything everything will be done by ai just you need to let ai know correctly what exactly you want okay so let's see what it came up with and here we go here we can see these will be the slides and the good thing here is that we can always click on add and then here we can add a new topic so in this way we can further customize this and then can create even um i would say large slide and then the maximum it can go up to 40 pages so 40 slide is really awesome if you can create within few minutes now what i'm gonna do next here is probably i can give uh, a topic so for example i also would like to mention the size or maybe i'm gonna say rank of all planets based on size okay and then i'm gonna say okay and now here you will see the potential slides being added and this is also i found quite useful or intuitive that you can always drag and reposition these slides now after you know you think that this should be my agenda for this presentation then all you need to do is you need to hit on generate new presentation now we're going to wait for a while till the powerpoint does its magic and there we go not only we're we gonna get i guess the good notes so let me also see here the notes are also there and let's go here slide it and then here you can see you will be also getting the notes so i'm just sharing you my another screen uh, which will be utilized by the presenter and then for presenter there are notes already available and then one more thing i am very impressed with this kind of presentation is that it also came up with very good images see so let's say you would like to present a particular topic to anyone you can really create it with a very good or factual information which most of the time is correct and then you can look at depth of it and then you have everything available from notes to relevant images 
to entire topic so eight hours say is really awesome then again um what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna hit here on home and then again click on copilot and then here you can see we further can improve it so let's say for example i also would like to add an agenda slide so let me click on it and let's hit go i know i mean there was one agenda slide already there but you see we have created one more slide okay and then of course you know if we talk about all these slides not all the slide you're going to like it maybe in that case you can go to design ideas and then you can look for the layout that you like okay so now again um we also can see other things for example here we have option to summarize this presentation so key slides in this deck and extract text out of email so you have got all these options and then you also can ask a question like for example what are some notable features of jupiter and saturn so if we hit here so copilot again going to act as a local gpt and then we'll try to extract information out from your presentation only so here we can see it says that jupiter is the largest planet known for its great red spot and so on so here not only you can create a good presentation but sometime you know we want to ask question from existing presentation so you will also able to do that with ease so that's really you know a uh, beauty of this copilot that is integrated with microsoft powerpoint and then we can see you know the kind of possibility we're gonna get and then you can see the kind of questions that you can ask from copilot and then copilot going to do it for you inside microsoft powerpoint which again you know not only limited to editing something but creating slide to creating entire presentation so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please make sure you like and subscribe to technoholic and if you have got any question please feel free to post them in comment down below i will definitely try to respond to them as soon as possible and let's catch each other in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye